It's about that time again. A new version of Ubuntu is around the corner and we will have a look at it. Hi, this is Karsten of OpenTech and while you're here, don't forget to like, to subscribe and to hit the notification bell, since it helps. And now let's have a look at Ubuntu 22.04 Jemmy Jellyfish. Let's install it and let's collect our first impressions. Let's get into it. First thing to do before gathering impressions of a new operating system, we have to install it. So let's start with the installation process. I already downloaded the ISO image for the latest beta of 22.04, insert it into my machine, and then we start the installation process. Right from the beginning, you can see that the logo looks different and the color scheme also looks a bit different. So it looks way more modern now. And that basically continues throughout the whole process. The installer is pretty much the same as in the past years. So we hit install Ubuntu. First thing to do is choose a keyboard layout. I have a German computer, so I choose German keyboard layout. Now I go with normal installation and I check install third party software for graphics and so on. So third party drivers could be downloaded. Then we choose the installation type. We go with standard here and have the disk to be erased. After confirming the changes to the disks, we are left with the location selection. Berlin looks fine to me. And now we enter our name. We give the computer a name. Pick a username. And then choose a password. Looks good to me. So let's continue. Now, the actual installation process has started. It typically takes five to 10 minutes. And once done, we will have to reboot the system. So hit restart now. And then the machine is going to reboot. We have to remove the installation media. And after that has been done, the computer will perform the actual reboot. First start might take a few minutes, but in the end, you will be greeted with the login screen, which looks pretty similar to what we have seen with previous versions of Ubuntu and GNOME. Done. First thing to do after we have set up our machine is to go through the initial setup and perform a system upgrade to the latest versions of the packages. Let's do that. So what we do now is we log into our machine and then we basically confirm the typical Ubuntu start screen. We don't want to send system infos to Canonical but apart from that, we just skip through all the different screens there and we are good to go. Now we open the terminal. And here we enter sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. That update will take a few minutes and in the end, we should then reboot the machine once again. So let's do that. And notice that the reboot this time is a bit faster than the first time and we are done. Okay, Ubuntu 22.04 is for many people a completely new iteration. They most probably were on 18.04 or 20.04. For those who did the incremental updates, the non-LTS versions. This iteration will not bring so many new features, but still some. So we all should have a look at those new features and we will do that 
in the system settings. So let's dig into that. So after logging in, we will open the system settings. And now let's go through the different sections here. Network and Bluetooth are pretty much as they were in the past. We have some new background images. You just click on them to select them and then you are good to go. Here in the appearance section, the most changes are visible. First of all, we can enable a true dark mode and define an accent color. I go with a blue accent color. I also change the size of the items on the desktop. And if I wanted to have new icons, I could change the positioning as well. Then I enable auto hiding the dock, change the icon size to be a bit smaller. And I have the dock now placed on the bottom. Now I go and hide the show personal folders option. So I have a clean desktop and I toggle the panel mode off and now it looks a lot like a macOS dock. Great. When going over the other sections of the settings, we will notice that we don't have so many changes. So I skip through that a bit now. But if you want to have a look at those, obviously there's something to discover for everyone. But again, no big changes compared to other versions. There is one change within the display section, but it is not visible here. The Ubuntu 22.04 version always defaults to the Wayland desktop. So keep that in mind. It could cause some issues for some older configurations and probably you want to check that out before you kill your rolled version. Apart from that, no big changes here. So we are on Ubuntu 22.04 and it looks great. One area where the new version actually gets visible is within the window management. As already mentioned, Ubuntu 22.04 ships with a mixture of GNOME components from GNOME 30s to the most current GNOME 42 editions. The good thing is all of those things blend into each other, but the bad thing for those who are used to the old style of workspace management, you will definitely see a difference. With the new GNOME versions, workspace management is handled a bit differently. Let's have a look on how Ubuntu 22.04 handles those things. So we are now going to open an application. In this case, it is Firefox. Once we have opened the application, we can press the super key and then drag it onto a different virtual desktop. The virtual desktops are created as we need them. If we then open a second application, in this case LibreOffice, it gets opened on our current desktop. And the switch between desktops is then done either from the overview or by pressing super up or super down keys. Another section of where differences are visible is with the new screenshot tool. Ubuntu 22.04 comes with a new screenshot tool, which is easier to be used. So what we do here now is we create a screenshot, we search for the screenshot tool, and you see it looks way different to what we had in the past. It's very intuitive to use. Just press the camera shutter button and 
your screenshot will be taken and it will be automatically copied to your clipboard and you can then just paste it wherever you want to have it. One thing we are typically concerned of when installing a new version of our favorite distribution is its resource consumption. Has it become worse? Has it become better? Let's check it out. So what we do is we restart our machine and log into the desktop. Then we open the terminal and start the htop utility. And as you can see, it basically uses some sort of resources, but memory consumption is below one gigabyte, which is quite good. And the usage of the cores of my machine is also not extensively overwhelming, so it looks quite okay. So Ubuntu still is a somewhat frugal distribution, although there are distributions that use way less resources. But nonetheless, looks workable. And then the last thing we definitely have to do is we have to run NeoFetch. So we definitely do that and you can see it's a modern Ubuntu with GNOME 42. That's all we wanted to know. So there you have it. We have installed Ubuntu 2204 Jemmy Jellyfish and whoever came up with that name needs to be punished. Nonetheless, we successfully installed it. We had a first look on it. We've touched on some of the new features there. And to me, it looks like a way more modern take on Ubuntu, although it is still not my distribution. But what about you? What do you make out of that? Is this the new Ubuntu you have been waiting for? Or do you prefer to run a different distribution? Let me know in the comments below. And while you are there, don't forget to like, to subscribe, and to hit the notification bell, since it helps. Thanks for watching, see you next time. And don't forget, let's make the world a better place, now more than ever. Thanks for dropping by. See you later. Bye.